Open a bottle of sparkling wine. I was taught this method when I completed my certified sommelier training with a court of master sommeliers. So the first thing that you need is your wine key. Some people will use the little tab on this foil, but it's recommended that you don't do that because sometimes the tabs can fail. So you'll go ahead and use the knife on your wine key. And I like to do this in two cuts so that I can allow the label to show to my guest the entire time without turning the bottle. So first I'll do one complete cut in the front and then one complete cut in the back. And then I'll do a little vertical cut with my knife and you're, you're working around the cage so it is a little bit trickier than, than if you would do it with a typical bottle of still wine. And then I'll go ahead and tear this foil off of my sparkling wine. Now, if I was working in a restaurant at this point, I would have an apron on or a pocket, which I failed to do today. And I would put this wrapper in my pocket along with my wine key. But since I do not, I will set it down. So at this point, I would go ahead and remove the cage from my sparkling wine. Now, typically I would have a serviette in the restaurant, but since I do not at home, I will use a polishing cloth. And on this cage, there's a little place to unscrew the cage and release the pressure. Now remember, there is quite a bit of pressure built up in this bottle of sparkling wine. So you do wanna to continue to keep your thumb over the cork. And I like to keep the cage on for safety. Now at this point, I have my serviette in between my thumb and the cork, and I will unscrew the cage completely but I will leave the cage on. I'm not going to remove the cage. Now at this point, I am going to slowly rotate the bottom of the bottle. And I, I do about six little pulses with the bottom of the bottle. And on the top of the cork, I'm really just kind of pressing down into the bottle. So I'll slowly do half turns to release this cork. And the goal is that I make barely any noise as the cork removes from the bottle. Just like that. At this point, if I were working in a restaurant, I would go ahead and remove the cork from the cage and I would present this cork to the guest on a cork plate and this cage would become trash. And then I would go ahead and pour for the guest starting with my host and I would give the host a one to two ounce pour for a taster. And then I would pour clockwise around the table, starting with ladies first and then make a second trip, filling all the gentlemen's glasses and I would finish with the host. And that's how to open a bottle of sparkling wine.